Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your favorite drum loops, turn them into your very own drum kit using Logic Pro's Drum Machine Designer. So let's get into it. To start out, find a drum loop you like. I use Splice as it's probably one of the biggest resources. If you don't wanna spend money, Reddit is also a good source, but it's gonna probably take you a lot more time to sift through as there's probably a lot of garbage on there as well. But yeah, basically when trying to find a drum loop, find one that's not too busy as that's gonna work best with this method. But obviously feel free to experiment. Once you find a loop that gets you excited, drag it into your timeline. A fun thing you can do is experiment with the pitch of the drum loop using Logic's flex time. Enable the flex button on the audio track and select speed slash FX. If the button's not there, you can hit command F and it should show up. From there, you can change your project's tempo and it will speed up or slow down your loop in relation to that. I tend to like darker drum sounds, so I often slow down my drum loops. That's just my personal preference. When it sounds good to you, bounce a loop in place, pressing control B and you can delete the original drum loop. Shorten the loop to the section that you wanna use the drum sounds from. If you use a very long loop, you might get overwhelmed with too many drum hits. So yeah, just select a narrower portion and hit Control E, and that will open a new dialog window. Select Create Zones from Transient Markers, and then choose Drum Machine Designer as your instrument, because that's what we're creating, a drum kit. From there, you can label all of your samples and then drag and order them so they line up to the pads that you like to play. I also recommend changing the sampler settings from classic to one shot so you don't have to hold down the drum pad for the whole sample to play. You can just hit it once and it'll play through. And then just make sure there's no click and pops. Fade out the ends of all your samples and then just adjust the start and end points. I like to be organized, so to keep things clean, I just delete all the unused tracks that I'm not using, color coordinate it, and now you have a brand new drum kit. Let's use this kit and make a beat. Okay, so I got the vibe going by dragging in a new piano loop lay down a kick and snare pattern. Now, if you wanna add new drum sounds to your kit, you can easily do that. I went back to Splice, dragged in a new hi-hat loop to my range window, and then dragged it in to different pads on my drum kit. That way I can easily just crop out different hi-hat samples for each pad, which gives me a lot more flexibility. Instead of using one static hi-hat, just have variation like a real hi-hat would be. Before recording any sounds on top of your beat, you just lay it down, right click or control click on your MIDI region, select separate by note pitch. Now each sound will go to its own track and then you can play in any percussion sounds or hi-hats on top without overriding the beat that you just laid down. And also what's sweet about this, you can record and enable individual audio tracks and easily play different pitches of that same sample on that track. Super fun way to make pitched percussion sounds. I find playing in my beats is always a lot more inspiring and fun because it's just so tactile. But when I have the basic beat laid down and I just wanna add more layers or ear candy, I'll often just drag in new sounds on top and chop and edit them to taste. So yeah, for this beat, I wanted a shaker. I added some bass. and put some acoustic guitar on top. And there you have it. A quick way to get a new drum kit rolling in Logic. I find this method is really good for those who have option anxiety and just spend countless hours just scrolling through samples, not sure how to find samples that actually fit together. Just find a drum loop that you really like, drag it in, extract the samples out of it, start playing. You can always go back and replace the samples that you don't like and you can always perfect it later. But once again, there's no such thing as perfection with art. So I don't know. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I'm Boyish. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.